Jr. and today uh, what I'm going to show you is how to put on uh, a thermal paste or compound uh, onto a CPU. Uh, being uh, the jerk that I am, um, you know, yesterday I took down my computer, which is just an old, I'm still getting sick, I'm so excuse me, this is just a, uh, this is actually a power spec. It's a couple of years old, it's 32 bit, but it still runs fantastic. So I figured, hey, if I want to continue to use this, um, I'm going to clean it out. So yesterday I cleaned it out, you know, like I cleaned out all the fans and everything. Um, and then I pulled this guy out, which is the, uh, the heat sink to the CPU. And not realizing it at the time, there was uh, the thermal paste was over this part right here and so I just was like okay I'm just cleaning it it's fine and so the thermal paste was removed from the CPU and from this as well so and then once that happens once the thermal paste is going you lose um, the conductivity and that means that there's actually air that can squeeze in between um, between the processor and between uh, this guy right here so um, so let's get started I got this stuff it's called Antec um, you can buy this online but this I needed to get immediately so the only place that had it immediately that I could get it at was Best Buy and that was it I think it was like 12 bucks like I had to get it my computer wouldn't like nothing would come up I wasn't sure if it was my video card so I'm taking apart my video card and and everything else making sure everything's plugged in and everything was and, and I was pretty gentle with everything so I was like ah this is this doesn't make any sense and then I finally realized oh, I wiped that crap off of the uh, <laughs> off of the uh, C the CPU and uh, you know and the um, what you call it and the unit right there so this is our guy um, now it looks like this is the casing but that's your CPU right there it's in a casing so what I'm going to do is close this latch it back down if I can I'm going to put this in a better position and so this should just latch back down and go underneath like that so, excuse me, the CPU, I always try to get the best angles for you guys with this thing, but, so that's our CPU right there. So inside this Antec box, which is the thermal compound, they give you this guy, and this is the actual paste, and they actually give you a little scraper too, which is awesome, because on this... When you're going to put it directly on the CPU, on the square part, and you want to make the, uh, you know, you want to make it as thin as possible. So um, I'm going to take the cap off of this thermal compound, and I'm going to dab um, a little bit right in the center. A little shaky because I'm doing this for you guys so we're just gonna start out like that we're not gonna go effing crazy here okay we're gonna use the scraper that they gave us if you don't have one you can probably use like a, a business card or a gift card I hope I'm not blocking anything with this camera view here and excuse if I'm not excuse me if I'm not doing like this really even job just because I'm out of leverage here but we're gonna cover this whole thing and from what I hear from what I read uh, the thinner the layer the better so but we want to get this on not like super quick but relatively quick so I can put the heat sink back on now my heat sink is a little smaller 
and I'm going to try not to get it anywhere else here. It's not a huge deal. But we're just going to try and keep it into the center part. Uh, and it's like it's really, it is a little thick, this compound. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's you got to be like a freaking surgeon with this. I'm just going to get as much. At least I, what we want to do is cover the CPU and then make sure that part covers uh, the thermal unit as best as we can here. So, like I said, excuse the view. I'm just doing this for you guys. So, if you put a, if there's a little extra on, it's not the end of the world but I guess you just just trying to get it on the on the actual motherboard I guess is the lesson here so and and something it's almost it almost has like a like a gluey a glue slash cement feel to it so come on baby and we just need to get that top square part I mean mostly around the center I mean my uh, my fan my uh, heat sink um, is really small but I'm going to cover this whole thing anyway just to make sure that nothing will escape so that part is done and I'm going to close up this pop of lid and I, you know you don't even need <laughs> that's what you got you get it for 12 bucks hold on to it um, and they also use it for windows too um, to keep to keep air out of um, you know to close up spaces for air so here's our heat sink right here and it's that square basically but it's mostly that copper colored uh, guy right there so what I'm gonna do is line these up as you can see there's four four threads one two three four and I'm gonna try and line them up like you know what? I'm gonna actually plug in the uh, the fan first. So let's plug this bad boy in. This was this had to be done immediately, so I couldn't even order it online. get these guys and it kind of sucks because it has I mean it's it I'm sure there's a reason for it but it has these springs on it so now what I'm trying to do I'll try and show you over here I'm just trying to get it into these into these threads but also be perfectly square so and usually usually once you get one in the rest will fall into place And actually, 
on this computer there's actually a compartment on the back that's totally separate that has the threads uh, as its own piece. So, so do side, side, So I guess if you're going to do a cleaning job, uh, just to be safe, I mean, it, it's good to get all that stuff, but to pull that fan out, I mean, this fan was absolutely gross. I mean, I was pulling out, you know, like dust bunnies. I mean, like actual dust bunnies were coming out. So, and all these threads should be matched up to here. And when that thermal compound is gone, if you if that gets wiped off or it just gets old and it stops working, your computer won't do anything. It won't. I mean, it'll it'll show that it has power when you plug it in, but that's it. It won't do jack after that because your process basically the motherboard saying to the processor, um, you know, there's there's nothing that's keeping us at a level temperature and these I try to make snug so that thermal compound should be on um, so it's definitely on the CPU and now it should be smutching a little bit onto the thermal onto the uh, thermal unit so what we're gonna do so this is on securely the glues on so what we're gonna do is just let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna come back turn it on see if it uh, and see if it worked so, so <laughs> I put the computer back together and this is the part where you're gonna see if I, excuse my friends, shit my pants and it doesn't work, I'm just gonna to have to get a new tower or it works beautifully and I'm gonna be so fucking pleased. So, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just a little bit of a uh, thermal compound. Let's uh, hopefully it'll last. I'm sure it will. It's all coming up exactly how it was. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to curse too much, but. That is that is fucking unbelievable, fucking unbelievable. Totally worth twelve bucks, and um, and really a little bit amount of time. And actually, um, I was just double checking, but after putting on the thermal compound, you can actually you don't have, it doesn't you don't have to do anything else. Put the um, the heat sink back on like we like I did, and put everything back together and plug it right in, and you're good to go. And that's it. So. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm glad that I can share this experience with you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just making sure everything starts up okay. Make sure everything... Uh, you don't have to wait through this part. It, it worked. <laughs> but, you know, I just at least want to show you guys if you were anticipating anything that, uh, you know, that it does work. And that's just one other thing one simple thing where you think that you know something is totally effed you know when it's not you know and you just have to you know diagnose the problem and see uh, and see what it was and who loves orange soda Kel loves orange soda I don't know if anybody remembers that show fuck yeah now this is just 
um, I plugged the um, some of the USB cables into a different slot so it's installing those drivers into those different USB slots but my background comes up still my little animated background so that's probably my mouse so a couple of, oop, what do we got here let's plug the mouse in in the back Sorry for the hold up. I can't see shit down here. Okay. Let's plug it back in. Plug my Bluetooth adapter back in. Mouse is working. Uh, let's just, uh, let's go to, let's go to YouTube real quick. I know you can check, like, the fan speeds and all that, and I can actually do that with, uh, with PC Wizard, uh, and all that good stuff, but, uh, we're just going to, uh, we're just going to go to YouTube. And we are going to watch, uh, we're just going to see what this looks like. Oh, it's, it's still running great. The HD card's working. Everything's working. Oh, it's fantastic. And what I'm going to do is, uh, awesome. Fantastic. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually use uh, PC Wizard down here and I'm not, I can't, I'm going to do a tutorial on PC Wizard. The new, this is the new one and um, I know there's other things you can do. There's things on the on Windows 7, but I think this is a little bit more detailed as far as temperature speeds, um, fan speeds, and all that good stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm really glad that you were here with me to uh, to check this out because um, you know I'm really pumped about that because I was really did not want to get have to buy a new tower and and replace all my draw, you know. And, uh, put all my different drives and back in different spots and all that crap so um thank you so much for hanging in with me um this that thermal compound wherever the hell i put it is fantastic fantastic so unless something happens within the ne next couple of days or weeks antec this is antec 7 so right now th this came up right away so this is the compound that I am highly suggesting right now um, and they have it at Best Buy if you need it immediately and um, it seems to be one of the better ones you can probably get it online but if you need it that day go to Best Buy so that's it I hope you enjoyed thank you guys for watching subscribe like leave a comment tell me what you think tell me what else you want um, I love making these videos for you guys. I really do. I really do. So, thanks for watching, and adios. Okay, so I know I said this was the end of the video, but I just wanted to show you. I loaded up PC Wizard real quick, just to show you the temperatures of everything. Uh, the processor fan running great, better than it was. Um, the uh, uh, the actual processor temperatures are actually um, overall better than average. So um, I think you want to have like uh, your uh, CPUs uh, in the f in the 40s is an average uh, 40 in the 40 degrees Celsius range. Uh, is the average uh, temperature that the CPU should have. 
and these are all well these are all below um, well above average the lower temperatures and that's just average and I think even that is like exactly where you want it um, everything else works great uh, all my temperatures are good everything's working great voltage uh, the fans all running great I'm not having any issues I'm not seeing any spikes in anything um, just running as it was if not better because of uh, some of the cleaning that I was doing yesterday so but just wanted to show you this real quick that um, that thermal compound is incredible and um, and quick and worth it so and if you ever want to check some of your um, you know your temperatures of your hardware um, and what your fans are doing and so forth uh, PC wizard uh, is definitely the way to go and like I said, we'll have a different uh, tutorial on that later. But hell yeah, boy. So hope you guys enjoyed once again. Just wanted to add this. And I'll see you guys next time.